hello people this is big sam beats it's been a while yep and today i have something special to talk about in cubase pro uh recently i had issues um with some of my project files they were not opening and i had to um, update my windows and do certain scanning on my computer and afterwards i can't open some of these projects so i found out they were corrupted and i needed to work on this particular project so i have to find a way to open this project if you are a cubase user and you've experienced this particular situation before this is the answer so after some time this is how i found a solution to this problem anytime you are creating a new project in cubase cubase asks you to create um a project folder after creating a project folder in that particular folder cubase automatically creates other folders like the audio the mix down the images and then also an auto save folder including the cubase project folder as you can see on the screen this is a project that i've created and this is um the project folder i created so inside that particular project folder i have the audio so the moment i start working in that project anything that i drop in that particular project it goes to a particular folder so the audios every audio in that in this particular project is here in this particular um audio folder we have auto saves so we also have some files in that particular folder and then images mix down and then so on and then you also have your qbase projects file so in this case, I can't open this particular project with the QBase project file because it is corrupted. What I did is I created a new project, empty, empty project. And I went to files, imports, and then navigate to tracks from project. So this is what it means. I'm going to import all the tracks everything from the old project this particular project that i can't open with the cubase project file so i'm going to import those um any everything in that particular project into the new one so that i can have my project and then worked on and then mind you sometimes when the cubase project folder is corrupted you cannot import everything from this project with that um uh, file with the uh, cubase project file because it is corrupted so you can either use the cubase project file or the files that cubase had automatically saved in the auto saved folder so you go to the auto save folder and you will see all these files there they are all recovery files so every recovery files ends with bak the files ends with bak like we have mp3 and then waves you understand so this file has bak which shows that it's a recovery file so this is auto save anytime you do something in that project anything that you've done in that old project cubase automatically saved them you get it so you can reopen the project with this particular files as well so now i'm going to import everything from the old project into the new one so that i can have my project back and work on with the auto save files you understand so now let me click check look at how it saves the first file the first file that saved was on um 4th august and then the time is also there and then the last one is 18th august so this is the current um saved or update that cubase had from the project so if I want to import the project and have it the way I want it, I have to use the current um, auto save file. Well, I'll click on that. Now Cubase is reading the project file. That is the old one. And then we'll try to import everything into um, the new one. Yes, we have this options work on. So now I have to decide do i need everything from the old project if yes and it means i have to take everything here if no i have to take the ones that i need if it is about only the group 
channels i click on the group channels and i import them if it is only um the instrument the audios or the vst i just click i will take them and then import but in this case i need everything because i can't open the project itself so i need everything from that old project so i start clicking all drums and then we come to the base folder click on it also the guitar folder the keys and then the vocal and then now we have the input and output channels as well click on them i need all of it and that of the fx channels the send and the delays and the power compressions and other stuff click on them and then the group tracks okay so the markets in our project i did not use it yes i did not utilize the market so I, I don't need it now so on this side you will leave everything as it is and then you click on ok now qubit is importing everything from that old project into the new one and i think with this feature uh, i can use template from other projects without going to my old template yes because if i've worked on a reggae song and i want to work on another reggae song and i feel like okay the plugins the vsts the editings and everything that i did in that particular reggae, uh, reggae song i need them in the new one i just go or use this particular process and then import everything from the old project and then fast forward i have everything i don't need to search for the plugins and then the effect that i use in that particular project so as you can see on the screen everything has been imported so everything in that particular project has been imported into the new project now i have everything here and then i can set my tempo and then start working on this project very simple as that so as i said assuming i have worked on an hip-hop song or a reggae song um for artist a now there's an artist b who's also want to do um a similar record or jenna hip-hop or reggae or uh, anything afro beat and i feel like okay i have all uh, oh, this th there are some vsts and plugins that i use in producing this reggae song for artist a and i feel like i can use similar or almost all the plugins that i use in producing for artist a for artist b as well i don't need to use my template my old template i just use this process import everything from the project that i work on for artist a into that of artist b and fast forward i can continue whatever i want to do so the reason why i'm saying that is because after this has been imported every plugin effect that i use in that particular project or the old one has been imported as well when you go to the vocal channels like this the effects that i use in the old project they are they have been also imported the auto tune is here and the compressor that i i used it, it's also here so everything has been imported same way as the vsts as well all the vsts that i use are here so if for me to go to my original template or start everything from scratch i mean knowing that oh this new project that i'm going to do i've worked on similar genre or similar project before i just need to import it it helps my workflow speed up my workflow i don't need to start everything from scratch again now everything that i use in that old project has been imported here so if i want to create another song which has similarities like this one i just uh, go through this process and import them into the new project and then i move on with the work it speed up your workflow you understand as mixing engineer or producer you don't always need to start from scratch you understand you don't always need to start from scratch 
importing from old projects and then working uh, in a new project with it. There's nothing wrong with that. It just speed up your workflow. Thank you for sticking with me. This is Big Sam Beats. Don't forget to subscribe. God bless you.